Well, good morning and welcome to our weekly uh, Pastor's Coffee. Uh, just a great, great message on Sunday about being in Christ, what we have in Christ. I'm uh, going to share some uh, some thoughts about that this morning with you. And uh, trust it'll stir your heart to believe God and uh, realize who you are in Christ. A uh, couple of things. Uh, this Saturday, we're going to be in the parade. Uh, it's a great time here in Mount Pleasant. We have a parade in the downtown area uh, with lighted floats. And um, we're going to put a float together uh, Wednesday night, Thursday night. Uh, we'll be putting together bags that we're going to be handing out to people with tracks in it, candy, information about our church. And then also we'll be uh, building a manger scene on a trailer and getting it all set for the parade on Sunday. So love to have some help, some people to come out uh, Wednesday night, 5 p.m., Thursday night, 5 p.m. Uh, we're going to do it in Tony at Tony Parker's house. And if you need directions, uh, let us know. We'll give you all the other information. But uh, just contact church office and we'll make sure we get you there. Looking for some help. We're going to pack over 2,000 bags. Uh, so it's going to take some time to do that. Plus the builders will be building uh, the uh, the manger scene, uh, looking for cast and people to dress in uh, in a costume, be on the float, and uh, then others of us that will be passing out the bags to uh, to people along the uh, the uh, parade route. So it's gonna be a great time. Gonna do some Christmas caroling and uh, great time to be a light for Jesus in the midst of uh, in the midst of uh, the parade. And so, amen. Well, I just want to uh, start with just a portion of scripture out of Ephesians chapter 2. I, I alluded to this before Pastor Carla spoke, and I wasn't aware of exactly where she was headed with her message, but I was stirred in my spirit with uh, Ephesians chapter 2, 6. And it says, and raised us, God raised us up alive together with Christ, with him, and seated us with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We see that in Christ right now, I am seated in heavenly places. And if you read the text, if you go up into chapter one toward the end of one, we see that Jesus, the head, was placed far above principalities and powers, and he's the head over the body. And uh, all authority has been given to Jesus Christ in, in his heavenly position. And then we find that we are seated with him far above all principalities and powers. I, I want you to get that in him right now, positionally, you are seated. I'm seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And what we need to do is quit getting out of our seat in heavenly places and coming down into the flesh and trying to use carnal weapons in the battle. No, we have been seated. We need to stay seated in our position in Christ far above principalities and powers. Luke chapter 10 says that God has given all authority to us over all the power of the enemy. And so we need to stay in our position. We are seated in Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. We're going to talk more about that Sunday as we just kind of talk, as we talk about the reality of that by faith in the name of Jesus, the lame man walked. We're going to develop that a little bit more and talk about this, this reality of the authority that you've been given by Jesus Christ. By putting faith in Christ, you've been seated with him in authority, in a position of authority at the right hand. And that, play, that speaks of the position of authority. We're seated with Christ. Stir yourself up today with that revelation and that reality. And I want to just share a few more things that are yours in him, that are yours in him. We need to realize when we accepted Christ, we came in him. We now live in him. In him, I live and move and have my being. And here's some things that you have in Christ. Romans 3.24. And I'm going to turn to the scriptures because the word of God is powerful. And we need to renew our mind with the Word of God. We need to believe what the Word of God says. And so I'm going to read the scriptures. I'm not just going to quote them or quote a portion of them. I want to read them. So it might take me a few moments today 
But uh, the word of God is good, right? The word of God is powerful. The word of God is quick and living and active. The word of God effectively works in us. The word of God transforms our mind so that we think the way God thinks. So Romans 3.24 says this. It says, And are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. You are redeemed today. That means you've been ransomed back. No longer are you in the kingdom of darkness. You are been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. You have been redeemed. You are redeemed. I am redeemed. Hallelujah. In Christ. In Christ. Romans 6 verse 23. I remember uh, as a new believer... Just taking these kind of verses and looking in a mirror, just declaring to myself who I am in Christ. I was with a brother earlier today, and we're, we're talking through this book, Victory Over Darkness by Neil Anderson. And on this one portion here, it just, again, it tells us who I am in Christ. You can see it there. They're just verse upon verse about who I am in Christ. In him, in him, I have been redeemed. Romans 6, 23. It says this, it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Guess what? Glory to God. Glory to God. I have eternal life. I'm not waiting to have eternal life. I right now am experiencing the life of God, the Zoe, this eternal life, this everlasting life right now as I'm in Christ Jesus. And I love the picture Pastor Carla had Sunday about stepping into the box and staying in the box, staying in Christ. In Christ, I have, I have, I have eternal life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Another verse, Romans 8.1. Romans 8.1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. How do you like that one? There's no condemnation. If I'm in Christ, there's no condemnation. There's no shame. There's no guilt. There's no condemning because of past mistakes or whatever. In Christ, there is no condemnation. There's no condemnation. I want you to hear that. You are in Christ, so there's no condemnation. There is no condemnation in Christ for those who are in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. This is the truth. This is God's word. This is what God is saying that is ours in Christ. Now, I don't have time to, to read all the ones that Pastor Carla gave, but I've got to read two more. I've got to read two more before we pray today. 2 Corinthians 2.14. I love this verse. I, I quote this verse often. 2 Corinthians 2.14, chapter 2, verse 14. But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in a triumphal procession and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. Do you love that? Do you love that? But thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in a triumphal procession. He always, in Christ, God always leads me into triumph. Hallelujah. And he diffuses the fragrance of Christ through me as I live in him as I abide in him, as I rest in him, as I rest in him. Hallelujah. Today, you are a victor. Why? Because you're in Christ. Because in Christ, I always triumph. In Christ, I'm more than a conqueror. In Christ, I'm an overcomer. In Christ, I've overcome this world. Praise God. And that's where we are positionally. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus right now. Right now. That's my position. That's my position. Last thing. Ephesians 1, verse number 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Every blessing that's in the heavenly places. Every spiritual blessing. Righteousness, health, healing, deliverance, freedom. Every spiritual blessing in heavenly places I have been blessed with now in Christ. In Christ. I'm not trying to grab them. I'm not trying to get them. They're mine now because God has blessed me 
in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Praise God. Think about that today. Take that verse, just Ephesians 1, 3, and just kind of unwrap it. Say, Holy Spirit, show me what, what's all mine in Christ. Show me what you mean by every spiritual blessing. And it'll blow your mind. It'll blow your mind. God wants us to realize we are rich in Christ. We have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. And I'll finish with a story. Brother Hagen tells a story of going to visit a lady who had was living in a house. It was ran down. It was kind of a, 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 a shack, he called it. And on the wall in this lady's house, she had this a certificate up on the wall inside of a, a frame. And he said to her, he said, where did you get this? And she said, well, I, I live for, a, a, I worked for a rich family. And when they died, they gave this to me. And so I brought it, uh, brought it to, my, to my place. And the reality was she had been bequeathed million, I think it was like a million dollars, many, many, many dollars. She was bequeathed a massive amount of wealth, yet she was living in poverty because she didn't know what she had. She couldn't read, so she didn't, couldn't read what that was she received. So she was living in poverty, though she had access to immense wealth. Many believers were living in poverty. We're just getting by. We're trying to hang in there until Jesus comes back. And God says, no, I have given you every, I've blessed you with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. I have placed you in heavenly places, seated you at the place of authority far above principalities and powers. Yet we're living here in this world as if we're, we're just going to hang in there white knuckling it to kind of make it to the end. And God's saying, no, you are the triumphant one. You are more than a conqueror in Christ. My friends, let's get a revelation of who we are and where we're seated. So we walk. I love the scripture. It's in one of the prophets. It says, in the last days, the feeblest will be like David and the others will be like God walking in the earth. There's gonna come a church that's going to rise up, the glorious church, who's going to realize who we are in Christ. And we're going to walk with godly authority, godly humility, the character of God, the power of God, the life of God being released out of us. Because it's who we are. It's what he's given to us already. Have a great day. I pray revelation. I pray revelation of who you are in him, in him.